This is your CBS 46 News Flash Briefing, brought to you by West Shore Home. Good afternoon, I'm Karen Greer. More than 350,000 people have died worldwide due to the coronavirus pandemic. And here in the U.S., it took just 16 weeks for the number of Americans killed by the coronavirus to surpass 100,000. More Americans have now died from the virus than from the Vietnam and Korean Wars combined. New York's daily death toll is at its lowest since March, but there's been a surge of cases in other parts of the country, like Montgomery, Alabama, and even here in Georgia. You know, the ICU uh, beds are, are essentially totally full. At least 27 states are reporting rising numbers of infections, and while the national death rate has fallen off recently, a wildly used model predicts there will be 31,000 more deaths by August. Coronavirus cases continue to rise in Georgia, as we said. The state health department reporting 44,000 cases. Nearly 2,000 Georgias have died from the virus, and more than 523,000 tests have been administered statewide. Today, the city of East Point offering free coronavirus testing. The drive through and walk-up tests are available at St. Stephen Missionary Baptist Church right on Hogan Road. Starts at 1 o'clock. You have to have your ID and bring a copy of your insurance or Medicare cards with you. Nationwide, we've learned another 2 million American workers have filed for unemployment benefits, and that brings the total number nationwide to more than 40 million. Jobless claims have been on a steady decline since April. Economists expect that about 2 million new claims. They're closely watching this week's numbers to figure out if the pandemic's unemployment assistance program, which covers workers ineligible for traditional unemployment, is in the works. It's for the self-employed and for contractors. Remember, Governor Kemp will have an update on the coronavirus crisis today. It is scheduled to begin at 4 this afternoon. We'll bring it to you live on air and on our streaming CBS 46 app. The three men charged in the murder of Ahmaud Arbery will be in court next week. Preliminary hearings for Gregory and Travis McMichael and William Roddy Bryan are set for next Thursday, June 4th. The McMichaels are facing felony murder and aggravated assault charges. Arbery was shot and killed while jogging in Brunswick back in February. The Department of Justice is investigating this death as a possible hate crime. And Minneapolis police say one person has been shot to death during protests in the city overnight. For the second day, people took to the streets to protest the death of George Floyd. He's the 46 year old who died in police custody earlier this week. All four officers involved in that arrest have been fired. Protesters and Floyd's family want all of those officers charged as well. The American Civil Liberties Union releasing an app that allows you to record your interactions with police. The push for this app comes after the recent killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis. The disturbing video showing the police officer holding his knee on Floyd's neck. That video going viral. Meantime, local organizers are planning a justice for Black Lives protest. It's being held next week, June 7th. It begins at noon at the intersections of Satellite Boulevard and Pleasant Hill Road in Gwinnett County. That's in Duluth. The launch of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket scheduled for Saturday. The launch from the Kennedy Space Center was scrubbed yesterday with just 16 minutes to go. This will be the first time a private company launches astronauts right into orbit. And let's get the latest on today's weather. Meteorologist Jennifer Valdez, our chief, told us that that rain could be a problem. And we're still seeing rain here, Jen. Oh, yes, yeah, still seeing rain. In fact, that rain will continue off and on. The good news is it's not going to be as widespread later today, and that trend continues through tomorrow. So although we do have a chance of rain, not as many of us going to see it. For today, we'll start to see some sunshine this afternoon, and as temperatures warm to the 80s, it will make us increasingly unstable. So there is a level one risk of severe weather across all of North Georgia. Biggest threats going to be those damaging winds and heavy downpours. Again, I'm not expecting everyone to see it, but but there is at least a chance of seeing one or two severe storms this afternoon. Temperatures will be warmer. Instead of highs in the 70s, they'll be in the 80s and it will be pretty wet. Tomorrow, another good chance of rain, especially late tomorrow as a cold front approaches. That front will bring a very low chance of rain Saturday. After that, we'll be in the clear for the weekend. But for tomorrow, we will see that 40% chance of afternoon showers and storms as we continue to warm up. We'll talk about a big warm up in the forecast coming next week. So join us on CBS 46 News starting at 4 p.m. for your complete weekend forecast.
This has been your personal flash briefing from CBS 46 News, brought to you by West Shore Home, Atlanta's one-day bath remodeler. 